So let's say you've finished your edit, you've got your bars and tone all set up on your sequence, and you've got your countdown and your two beep and everything is there. But now you need to, to insert your slate. And uh, I, I can tell you from personal experience, it's, it's the part that I hate doing uh, the most. So um, I would normally do a bunch of different templates, and then I'm always losing my templates, and they're in different projects and everything. So I thought it would be easiest just to create a, a plugin, and uh, this plugin is called Quick Slate. So I'm just going to bring it up. It's a generator, and then insert it in. Just double clicking here. Now I'm using Final Cut Pro 7 today, but uh, this works the same way in Final Cut Pro 10, uh, Motion, After Effects, and Premiere Pro. So the way this Quick Slate works is basically you just choose what type of program type, whether it's commercial, music video, series, or long form. And all of the uh, fields will change depending on, on what type. So you can remember very easily what information you need in there. And, and then down here, we, you would put your total runtime. Uh, you can select over many units. So um, normally, let's say if you just put, let's say 20, 23 minutes, you could do it that way. Um, usually I would just say not applicable and then write it that way or write it this way. And this is a text field, so you could put something like excluding three times 10 second breaks. Okay. And then in the picture and sound area, you would just select uh, what format you're using. So let's say we're going out to HDCam SR, and it's going to be 1080p SF at 23,976 frames per second. And uh, time code type is non-drop frame, aspect ratio 16 by 9, but let's say it was a 239 to 1 letterbox, then you could put that in there. Your uh, mix, I'll say for the show, it was a full mix. And um, the channels, let's say it was a 5.1 full mix. So up in here we have our uh, broadcaster information, series name, all of that stuff. So this, you know, let's say it was uh, Discovery Channel. So you just start typing that there. And you can just use the tab key to go, um, go around on all of the, uh, the fields here. Uh, series name, we'll call it Editor Essentials. Title, uh, we'll call it Quick Slate. And this is where you could put your, uh, the paid ID number for the show all that sort of stuff. Now it's not a very pretty slate, but it's functional. It has everything that you would need on it. You don't have to use every field. So we've got extra fields in here, for example, uh, producers, editor, that sort of thing. Um, so I might just take the producer one out. Um, editor, you can put your post house name in like that. You can put extra details in here. And then of course you can change the alignment, left, right, you can choose a different font um, and you can change the opacity all of that stuff now uh, once you do this you can save templates so you just can click save as and, and save it as something now I've already saved a template here which uh, I call discovery editor essentials I can pull it up and uh, it basically has all the information we just uh, put in there but let's say we want to put this on a nice background. I'm just going to move it up to V2. And then I'm going to just drag a background underneath it. There we go. And now we've got a quick slate. And uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything because all the information is there. And that's basically what quick slate is.